Yes! Yes! It has been long awaited. It has been the transfer saga of Chelsea's January. Welcome back to the George Benson Football Channel. Yes, guys. I can't even get my words out in the correct order of lexical structure that we begin our videos with here. But Chelsea have signed Enzo Fernandez, And I don't know about you, but this patient wait for the Ornstein dagger or the Fabrizio Romano, here we go. It's been painful. I stayed up late last night. I was waiting and waiting and waiting. The roller coaster of emotions of this Enzo Fernandez deal have been ever so slightly taxing on my health and well-being. I'm not going to lie to you because he is such an exciting player. We're going to talk today about what this means from the player's side, what this means from Todd Bowley, for Graham Potter, for everything to do with Chelsea. I believe this is absolutely sensational news that we have got our man. Enzo Fernandez has joined Chelsea Football Club for a world record fee for a central midfielder. He's a world champion. He's 21 years old. And I cannot wait to see this man in a Chelsea shirt, be it a home shirt, an away shirt, a third shirt, a training shirt. We want it all. We've still got medicals to do, but there is potential that it could be medical in Portugal. Chelsea have been so persistent here. And not only have we been persistent, but we have made it categorically clear that we were not taking no for an answer with this Enzo Fernandez deal. This is such a brilliant sign from the new owners. I think if there was ever a moment where we could round up the first year of Todd Bowley and Clear Lake Capital's ownership of Chelsea Football Club, this epitomises... Everything that we could have wanted, really. Chelsea knew after Abramovich we were going to need a rebuild. And within 11 months of these guys coming in and taking over at our club, we seem to have already not completed the rebuild because in order to complete a rebuild, you've got to go into the house and make sure that all of the structures stay up. And at this rate, we've already sacked one manager this season, so we've got to make sure we don't sack another one. Otherwise, we're spending hundreds of millions on players and just continuing to plummet down the footballing pyramid in the Premier League. That's not going to happen. I firmly believe that's not going to happen because we have signed Enzo Fernandez, the young player of the tournament at the World Cup just over a slender month ago. What a player he is. I think the creative vision, the tenacity, the energy, the work rate and the drive of Enzo Fernandez is everything that Chelsea have wanted from a midfielder. We've been asking for a rebuild for so long. We have kind of got a bit tired of the repetitive Jovacic partnership, Jorginho, Kovacic. We also can't complain. Chelsea fans do come across as incredibly greedy because obviously we've been European champions. We're still world champions, by the way until the, the Club World Cup, I think it's in Morocco or somewhere, in a few days' time. But Chelsea, I can't believe we've got this one done. It's been incredible to see that it wasn't just Todd Bowley or Christopher Vivell going over to Portugal. Chelsea got the private jet ready late last night. We were negotiating all day yesterday, all through the night last night, couldn't get to a breakthrough. And then eventually, the persistence of all of the Chelsea board being in Portugal, showing just how much Chelsea want Enzo Fernandez. It shows the player just how desperate our football club were to get him on our books. That means that the player is again constantly reiterating the same pressure to the board. Not only that, but late last night we were told the Benfica board were putting pressure on Rui Costa, saying to him, listen Rui mate, we don't think we're ever going to get a deal this great ever again. It's a great price, we've got to accept it. And lo and behold, Chelsea sticking in there, digging our heels in, has ended up landing our man. And I think we might not understand the magnitude of this transfer until we see how Enzo Fernandez revolutionises the way that Chelsea play football. This is the thing that excites me the most because even when I think objectively about what it is, the way that the style of play since Thomas Tuchel came in, from the where it started to go wrong for Tuchel and really since Graham Potter's come in as well. We've been playing the same football for so long. And I think the reason why we, we, we did pretty well still up until this season is the fact that we've got a lot of good enough players to be able to win enough games. But there isn't really a style. There isn't really any kind of unpredictability, which is what makes certain teams so difficult to play against. And it's why teams like... Liverpool and Man City can be so consistent because what we've seen at Chelsea is we 
can only think about the com the upcoming pass the moment the next player's got the ball. Whereas at City, Liverpool, there is enough creative talent out there to be able to have a two or three pass structure move orchestrated before the first ball's even played. Enzo Fernandez is that player to start these kind of manoeuvres. He always goes and attempts long balls the majority of time to success. We often do see a bit of sideways passing as well, but the intention is to go forward. He's a good ball progressor as well, and he's got the ball at his feet. And nine times out of ten, he is the man being the glue in the midfield and trying to pick out those creative passes between the lines for players like maybe a Mount on the edge of the area, Zhao Felix dropping deep, Kai Havertz off the striker. What we're starting to see now in this Chelsea team is through the middle, we have got players who can link up together. If Felix is playing up top, then we can get the ball to him through maybe Kai Havertz as a number 10, with Enzo being that anchor man in the middle who can play a pass into the final third. Something Jorginho probably doesn't do as often as we'd like. Kovacic the same. Alongside as well... N'Golo Kante. Can you guys anticipate just how good it could be, especially since the, the post sari era Kante, when he's fit and getting forward and running, we're seeing so much progress, progressive play from N'Golo Kante when he's on the field. So, this Enzo Fernandez move with the likes of Mudrik Madwiki out on the wing to bring natural width, the balance and flow of what we can anticipate now from this Chelsea team is going to be unlike anything we've been used to for quite some years. And I think overall, we have got to take our imaginary hats off to Todd Bowley for getting this one done. Graham Potter also really wanted to play. Seriously wanted him after seeing him at the World Cup. Chelsea showed their interest. Graham Potter nods his head. And now, I'm not being funny to you, but... When you look at this transfer window that Chelsea have had, I'm going to do like an overall roundup video where we look through each player, we predict where they're going to fit in now, later, whatever. This transfer window has been nothing shy of beyond sensational. I can't even think of words in the English dictionary to just quite fathom and comprehend just how good this transfer window has been for Chelsea Football Club. Enzo Fernandez will be a Chelsea player. We are absolutely delighted that on deadline day today, we can announce this one and we can celebrate here on GBFC. So if you are as excited as me for the arrival of Enzo Fernandez at Chelsea for all of the reasons or any different reasons that you can inform me in the comments down below, then please let me know down below why you think that this Enzo Fernandez signing excites you. Because I, for me... I can promise you, we are going to absolutely cook with this man in the side. 21 years old. Look at the average of the players that Chelsea have brought in. We are building something special for the future. We have got the most ambitious owners in world football. And I really hope that you guys can take a moment, as I will be today, to just think about how lucky we are to be able to look forward to something that you never know it might not go well but lo and behold I think we can look at what we've done in this window and be like this might just cook you know we might be in for a treat for the next few years I seriously hope we will thank you guys so much for watching if we can go for 5,000 likes for Chelsea signing Enzo Fernandez then that will be phenomenal subscribe if you are new come on you blues